First Austin Energy says it has crews on standby in case there are outages due to the storms rolling in overnight. Now officials with the company say windy stormy weather can actually cause tree limbs to break and hit the power lines causing some power outages. They say if you see the limbs though or the wires or see down tree limbs just call the number there that's on your screen. So Nick we know that we are heading into severe weather season so there's a lot of things that we need to prepare for right? Yeah even if we don't get much in the way of severe weather tonight of which we still could uh, it is the time to start thinking about this type of thing let's talk about severe weather season here in central texas based on climatology meaning looking into the past and seeing when we typically get severe weather well it begins in march and then with each passing week and month we see more and more storms and in general their intensity starts to go up as well the peak of severe weather season here in central texas is usually in may and then once we get to june there's usually a pretty quick drop off early to mid june in the amount of severe thunderstorms that we get Here's the caveat though. Remember, at any time of year, you could still get uh, severe weather, but this is just when we typically uh, see it here in central Texas. Uh, we are anticipating the possibility for a strong or severe storm overnight and into tomorrow morning. But for right now, this is how it looks from our Austonian weather camera. We're at 73 degrees. It's still warm and it's uh, still rather humid. We actually have a cold front moving through central Texas right now. It's not bringing a lot of rain with it at this point. But we actually expect things will get wetter as the cold front moves through. And even after the cold front moves away, it's actually been bringing some thunderstorms uh, north of us, but not really much in the way of wet weather here. This is the cold front right now. You see San Saba land passes down in the 60s, but most of us are in the 70s and even some 80s ahead of the front. But gradually into the evening, this front's going to march in and drop the temperatures and drop the humidity. Dew points in the 60s is sticky, but where the cold front has already moved through, dew points have dropped into the 40s and 50s. So here's what we're expecting as we head into this evening. A slowly increasing chance for showers and even thunderstorms. Between 7 and 9, it's just at about a 30% chance. Most of us are just cloudy and dry. But by about 10 or 11 o'clock, that chance starts to rise and we're up to about a 50% chance of uh, wet weather storms or showers at 11. Here's what we're tracking in first warning weather. The timing of rain and thunderstorms, also the severe weather threat. And we'll take you into the first week of March, which begins tomorrow.